Okay, we're gonna take a look at something. Security system. We are on B3. Prison. Prison virus used. Triple locked door. Already done that. We can go get Chris in a bit once stuff starts. Power room. Done that. Pass it up. Everything done that. Basin level 4. Top secret. That's where the tyrant is. Okay. I'm correct. Then we are going to get ready for a motherfucking tyrant. <laughs> By getting just a little bit of insurance here. Shells. Sorry, this is going to take a minute. Because I know I have another one in here somewhere. Alright, I popped another save just in case. Because I don't want to go into the power room again. There's no reaction. There's no- what? There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes. Jill. Barry! I was waiting for your ass. What took you so long? Jill, you're here too. Yes. yes. You're here too? Oh, that dialogue. I lost my way. Let's get going. Really? Is that all it was, Barry? I saw your death scene. I know what game you're playing. Oh well, not much I can do about it right now. Let's go confront Wesker. Guess we're on the uh, last stretch of the game here, folks. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away Yeah, from Barry's Barry. been pretty goddamn suspicious. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything. Because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, he sounds so nonchalant. <laughs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Because of course Barry, he tells me absolutely walk everything. Walk on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? Not if develop it? In charge, Destroy it? Stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Tyrant! Or not. Barry! Lol beaten by Barry. I'm sorry, Jill. Hey, Jill! Family. Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. Yeah, you didn't get that at this now. point? Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Guess what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Tyrant. Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon called tyrant or something I, I think do you think we could see tyrant now barry you're so optimistic it would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose if you Maybe blow right. the place up it's not going to run go loose then. 
You know, that entire cutscene just put Resident Evil 5 in a very different light. Because, you know, spoilers, but Jill and Wesker, yeah. Dust Tyrant. Why is the heart on the outside of the body? That makes absolutely no sense. I mean, just stabby stabby it a few times and it would die in a real world situation. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? No. Nope. Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. Barry? That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. Barry, don't. I know what you're gonna do, Barry. Oh, you're not just supposed to push random buttons. That never leads to good things. <sighs> good job, dumbass. Now, the fact that he has no clothes on and Damn no penis you. makes me think that's actually a chick. Tyrant is now Miss Tyrant. Hi, Tyrant. How you doing? It can't control what it does. Okay. But I have a goddamn- OH SHIT! Bad time to try getting used to a control, Scarlet. I still got a ways to go. Ah. Nope, 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 combine. Need more ammo. Oh, did I kill it already? Sweet. Bye, Tyrant. Yes, because I really need that at this point. I want to see the person who sent a knife run of Resident Evil 1. No way in hell would I be able to do it. But knifing the tyrant, what? Barry? Barry? You dead? Debra? You're alive! <laughs> Survive impalement! <sighs> That's why he's more badass, badass than Steve Burnside. I was clumsy. Let's get going. Okay. Guess it's that time, folks. Time to get the fuck out. What happened to Wesker? The triggering system has now been activated. Oh, he obviously just started All to blow the sh place up. Wesker must have set it off. Unlock There's not much time left for us. So we're gonna go get Chris. Because Chris. Why aren't I with him? Okay, what's our route? Our route is... Forward to the side through- okay. Shit! Oh, that actually just made me jump. Was not expecting that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, let's not do that again, okay? Okay. You've entered the passcode. You've entered the passcode. You've entered the passcode. Time to go through. Chris! Chris, I love you! I love you! Oh, Jill! Oh, Chris! So you're okay! And yeah, fanfiction.net goes too. wild. What happened to Wesker? Let's talk about it later. Let's get out of here! Aw, oh, that was sweet music. Is there anything in there? Oh, I left Chris! Oops. Oh. Nothing important around here. Why didn't Wesker kill him? Come on, Chris. Damn it, 
Chris! You have no gun! Let's go! Chris, you have no gun. There are things out there. John damn fault. Hey! Jackass. Shit! Um. Fucking try it. So I'm gonna waste a flame round on a vanilla zombie. Lol. Chris! Let's go. How did you miss? You know what? I'm not even gonna ask. It is Chris after all. Oh, I'm just waiting on him. Don't you give me that look, mister. What the hell have you been doing this entire game, huh? Huh? That's what I thought. There's a ladder. Will you climb it? Sure. Come on, Chris. Come on, Ben. So they're just gonna sit there and wait for me, of course. Yep. They can't do shit by themselves. back there she's walking into Chris <gasps> he's looking very pensive you okay there Barry I could probably just lodge you with a fire round nah waste of ammo come on you two oh battery I love how that's just standing right there why not just have no battery do anything pick it up No shit. It looks like a car battery. Oh, 90s. Damn it, Chris! How about you stop talking and everybody piles into the elevator at once? But no. That'd make sense. And this is Resident Evil. We can't have Resident Evil making sense. Y'all didn't see it, but I just eye rolled there. Okay. We need to signal Brad, because Brad is flying around trying to find us. Because he's a chicken heart and ran away and left us all to our deaths and is the no, actually, everyone who got there sur or got out of there survived, except for Joseph and Wesker is a jackass. Um, is there anything else around here? No, no. Okay, I know what happens the second I use this thing. That's why I don't want to. <laughs> okay. So from what I remember, this is pretty much just a survive, because Tyrant's gonna attack me, but. Uh, because he gets past Barry and Chris without actually hurting either of them. Okay. I just gotta survive until he throws the rocket launcher because all police, all police, you know, offices have a gigantic rocket launcher in their helicopters, right? Hi, Tyrant! I'm gonna run in circles, I'm gonna run in shit. Oh hell. How about we don't? How can you dodge that? Oh, I just did. Okay. So stay to his. Stay to his not there. Okay. <laughs> Gotta get it down to. How are you hitting me? Ah, 
I'm gonna die. Not even gonna try that. I'm gonna die here. You're an Amazon Jill? That is definitely the best line in this goddamn game. <laughs> nope. Be right back. Hey everybody and we're back. It's time to try this again. Now let's deal quickly, I die. I grabbed those uh, blue green herb mixtures because, well, it has some green in it, so it should heal me a little bit after I get my ass handed to me. Hey, you Brad. You gonna land, buddy? You gonna land? You gonna. There's absolutely nothing that can stop you from landing here. Nothing at all. That maybe that. That probably doesn't help. Balls! Oh shit. How about we don't? How about we don't? Let's not. Let's heal. Healing is good. Pretty, pretty good. Ow! Check ass. Still fine. Still fine. Still good. Hasn't killed me yet. Throw the goddamn rocket launcher, please. Ow. Okay, we're still fine. Right into the middle. Why aren't you throwing it? Why is he not throwing? Why didn't he throw the rocket launcher? The fuck? I'm gonna be right back. Alright. No more Mrs. Nice Scarlet. <laughs> Let's do this thing. And not die? Please? No, not. Here comes the tyrant again. And now it's time for me to run. And dodge. Hey! If I just take a sharp turn. Whoa! Got me that time. <laughs> yeah, I just realized if I just take a sharp turn to the right, he normally doesn't hit me. Yeah. Huh. I think I figured out how to dodge the tyrant. Alright then. Whoa! Didn't dodge him that time. Oh shit. That's not. Hitting him is hard. I don't want to die again. I've already died twice. Still fine. Still good. Still good. Not dead yet. Maybe soon. It's coming. Jill. Kill that monster. You're an Amazon, Amazon Jill. Jill. What? Rocket launcher. Of course I'm gonna take the goddamn rocket launcher. Are you kidding me? Boom! Looking in the wrong direction, Tyrant! 
y'all. You are dead. You are in pieces, charred little pieces, and you're dead. You killed me twice. You did not kill me a third time. This time the old adage, third time is a charm, is in fact a charm. Because he is dead. And now for my glorious end. Tired, Chris? You should be. His magnum looks absolutely tiny. Is that even a gun? In the cutscenes, it's this huge monstrosity. And so they fly off into the sunset, and everything is good and puppies and rainbows forever. Absolutely nothing goes wrong. No, Raccoon City doesn't fall, Jill doesn't get kidnapped, nothing at all. Smart. Alright, so that's Resident Evil. I'll admit, I didn't do too well. I'm kind of, kind of loathe to see what my ranking is. Where's Yon? So, about the game, sure, for its time, it was pretty, pretty good, I guess. It just, it started out as more of a cool classic, at least from what I remember. You see, I kind of grew up with this game, it was one of the first games I ever, uh, remember watching my sister play. And that's why I kind of knew a lot of the little parts they did before. And also, about Barry. I didn't mean to get him killed, I really didn't. So I kinda really had to go back and do that. I couldn't just beat the game with that ending without Barry. Cause I mean, he's Barry. Barry can't die. I don't care that he hasn't shown up yet in any of the other Resident Evils, except for Dyke. Barry, motherfucking bird. Him and the crank are the actual protagonists of this series. Why does it just keep zooming up on different parts of the map? Or is it gonna show us the explosion of the pirate? Yeah. Go Jill! The most Amazon of Amazons. Rest it, Eve. Okay, give it to me, game. Total time. 4 hours, 58 minutes, and 57 seconds. Number of saves, 17. Does this game not have a ranking system? Oh. Guess not. Woo! I got a special key. Yeah, yeah. Find closet. All right, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Resident Evil. See you next time. I am Mrs. Scarlet Tanager, and I'll see you in another Let's Play.